ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lee Sweeby. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, introducing Tyson Fury. Obey all my instructions promptly. And when I tell you to break, you stop punching and clearly step back. Is that understood? And nothing on the back of the neck. Shake hands, come out boxing. Well, off a lobby, who's oh, fighting oh, Enzo oh. Macronelli this evening. What's he going to produce tonight? And the determination to get in there as he throws. Been around for a long time. Won't be overawed. Kelly. Forson lost against. Fury weighing in. He's just been ticking over. He's fighting, keeping really busy, which is good to work, Fury. It is sweeping left hook. Good body shot, Duke. Lovely. He's now allowing Fury to dictate with that jab. Left hand, of course, is his danger punch, Swaby. It's easy for Fury to keep. Swaby has to try and make himself a smaller target. Try and get into. Good body shots, Swaby feeling the power of those. have to put himself in the punching range, in the firing line, he just doesn't have to do it. And the power at distance. Go brothers have been so successful over the years. And his uncle and trainer Huey, pretty pleased with the way it's going. Huey's getting you know, boxes of different shapes, different sizes. Off balance there, glancing blow on the shoulder. And it, not overawed at all. Walks onto a big shot there and he's got stopped in his... <laughs> Calling to Swaby from his corner, don't wait for him. It's easier said than done when your opponent is some six or seven inches taller than you are. Hit the head all day long. <laughs> that was a good body shot there by... by. Fury, I'm sure, would love to say he'd stop Swaby here in the second round to do one better than Eights, who's emerging from the Frank Warren stable. That left hand from Swaby did get through. And now Swaby for the first time having his own measure of success. To respond, he's been clipped for the first time. Didn't like it. Well, the Lincoln man's had his moments. Yeah. Lee Swaby telling his corner that he's finding it difficult to... He's still looking game enough. He's still, still on his feet. Probably learned more in the 30 or so rounds that he's in his first three paid contests so far. This may be not doing a bad job of, of tucking up in succession. Well, from this as he has some of his... And Sway be around the boxing ring. Swaby marking up coming back from Swaby at this stage. No, Tyson Fury just working him over in this round. Good for me by Fury. Swaby all the time looking for that left hand, but it's thrown with more of an air of desperation than it was earlier on. Swaby's got a punch back because the record him. It's all Fury at this stage. Big round for Tyson Fury. And not too much back from Swaby now. Deliberately grab Fury. Oh, that's a big round for Tyson Fury. Soften him right. Listen to me? Yeah. Keep at him. Don't let him stand and rest. If you let him rest, he's pulling his wind together. Yeah. Hard shots. Turn. Let him. That third round, Duke. It was quite impressive by Fury for me. 
little clusters on the inside there, both hands. Watch this right hand. I mean, that is a... That's, that's quality, that's, isn't it? That's very good. It's very good. Moving into the fourth round. Time to the contest. It's a sixth round of this. Well, you know, there's a first time for everything. Might happen tonight. Step inside, trying to nail his man with that left hand. I do think there's a marked improvement with Fury. He has to he automatically try to break him down. Sorry, but the punch that uh, he threw. He was hurt of a body shot, but managed to disguise it. So Fury hasn't seen that. You can see from the way his mouth's hanging open now, he's really feeling this. Trying to counter off the ropes, he did get through with one, but here comes another sustained attack from Fury and the referee. If you see Fury's right arm and just pulling him in tight, he's just doing enough to buy himself a little bit of time. Trying to unload with these shots now, Fury, you can hear him grunting with effort as he unloads. Oh, desperate oh, on there. Yeah, he's desperate for a knockout, Fury. Doesn't want to get careless though, Swaby's still in there. He's, he's hurt. He's trying to sucker him in, isn't he? He's yeah. still just trying. I certainly wouldn't dis I certainly wouldn't make an argument with him anyway. But he says he's never been on the floor in any and never even taken a standing eight count. Well, I'll tell you what, these are good punches from Fury. Uppercut the Fury just threw there was enough to take your head clean off your shoulders. People out there who say that Fury doesn't punch as hard as some. He's throwing a lot of them. And you try telling this fella, he knows he can punch a bit. I think they're going to pull him out. I think it may be, it may be finishing here. They're having a look at him. Yep. And Tyson Fury has won the fight. Merciful decision by Dennis Hobson and Richard Fox. And they knew that their man was just about all in after that. But the fight finishing after four rounds, Lee Swaby being retired by his corner and Tyson Fury emerging victorious. So there's your winner, Tyson Fury. And we'll come back with more from him, no doubt, before too long. Absolutely, John, a good learning fight, that one for Tyson Fury. Don't forget, coming up, the British middleweight title fight made in heaven between Wayne Elcock and Matt Macklin. Yeah, I knew he was like a, an awkward type of customer, and he was really awkward, awkward than I thought when I got in there with him. And um, the plan was to soften him up a bit over a few rounds, and then, like, fourth and fifth and sixth, I was going to, like, try and get him out of there. Sure. But, yeah.